Okay, now let's look at auto ISO when using aperture priority mode and see how it affects that. Now what I've got here is I've got the camera set to 100 ISO, I've got the aperture set to f8, and obviously the, the shutter speed is gonna fluctuate as we move. So let's have a look over here. Now I'm getting 80th of a second at f8, 100th of a second at f8, and as I move around into the dark here, I've gone right down to a third of a second at f8 on ISO 100. So that means I'm gonna lose the shot because I'm gonna get camera shake and I'm, it's gonna basically ruin everything. So what I need to do is switch to auto ISO and see what happens there. So I'm now on auto ISO, let's see what happens this time. Okay, 100th at f8, moving around, 100th at f8. And I've now gone down to a 30th at f8, but the ISO has gone up to 1000. Now the reason I've gone to a 30th of a second and it held at a 30th is because my focal length of the lens is on a 30th, just above 28. So the camera is intelligent enough to know what is hand holdable at what focal length. Say 50 millimeter is 50th of a second, 100 millimeter is 100th of a second and so on. So it's adjusted the, the shutter speed to a, a safety, a, a safe hand holdable speed and it's raised the ISO to account for the darkness. So let's try it the other way. Let's go to a 70, 70 um, millimeter focal length and see what happens. Okay, 100th F8 again. And as I come round now, it's fluctuating and it's an 80th of a second, 80th of a second at F8, but the ISO has gone right up to 3200. So again, the camera has adjusted the shutter speed to match the focal length of the lens, but it's increased the, the uh, ISO right up to 3200 as a kind of safety aspect. So aperture priority can be quite dangerous, if you like, if you're not using auto ISO. So if you've got auto ISO switched on, your camera is still gonna recognize the fact that you need a certain shutter speed for whatever lens you're using, and it will adjust the, the ISO accordingly. So I'd recommend that whether you use shutter priority or aperture priority, try auto ISO out and get used to using it, especially with modern cameras now with really good quality at high ISOs. You don't get a lot of grain or noise. And I recommend you try those. The 5D Mark II auto ISO on manual is automatically set at 400 and it's not changing at the moment. So there may be some firm, firmware out one day that'll change that, but you're quite limited when you're using manual. But if you're using shutter, shutter priority or aperture priority, get used to using auto ISO. It can really save your bacon in quite a few situations.